Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am your host, Anna, and my channel name is Only My Dreams. And for those of you that have reached out to me for my last Dollar Tree haul that had some really cool autumn finds, I'm sorry, I'm so sorry that the video is no longer up. Um, I do all my all my filming here on my phone, and my I just had to order a new one. My phone is acting all kinds of crazy, and somehow it got deleted. So I apologize, okay? So I'm sorry about that. Um, but let's go ahead and get into this haul. I do have um, I do have a lot more. I'm just not going to be sharing it with you. This is mainly school supplies, and that's just you know composition books, you know stuff, post its, and crayons and glues and you know what the kids need for school. I'm not going to bore you with that. So I had several bags of that kind of stuff. Okay, but let me show you what I did find. Okay, so this first thing that I found. Um, which I had the other flavor by Planters. This one is a salted caramel peanut. Now I did try before their, um, what is it, salt and vinegar. So when I saw the salted caramel peanut, I was like, oh my gosh, I have to try this. So this is a six ounce and the best by date is, you know, this year, actually August 26. So but they're still going to be good for several months well past that. I'm going to pop her open so we can try it out really quick. It does have a pop top. Dun, 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 dun. We opened her up. It just smells like peanuts. Like right off the bat. Let's see if, it, if we get any real caramel here. Mmm. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Very interesting. This tastes good. It is not an overwhelming caramel taste. Um, it's more like a sweet taste with that saltiness so it's you've got your sweet and almost like a savory deal going on um i'm not too sure if it's really a caramel taste that i'm getting but i definitely smell not smell but taste the sweetness mm. yeah okay i take a bat i taste the caramel so if you see this Try it. Try it out. I'm glad I picked up three. If I go back, I'll probably pick up maybe just one more. But these are actually really good. Okay, the salted caramel peanuts. Very good. Thumbs up on that one. Then I saw, I want to say, um, that one's open, baby. I saw a lot of y'all hauling the um, Bears and Bears stuffed animals. My store had them. But I didn't get them. Instead, I picked up the the Bearston, um, Bearston, Bearstein or Bearston Bears, the 35 count sandwich bags. Because I thought these would be more usable. Because <laughs> my kids are, you know, they're getting a little older, and you know, it's cool if you're read if you're still reading the books and you got the little stuffed animals. But I wanted to see what these look like. Do they all look the same? I don't know. You're supposed to have at least two pictures in here, two different. So let me see if I can get two different ones. So I can show you. Okay, here. Got it. Okay. So they're gonna go they're gonna go look like this. Oh I'm gonna put this behind it so you can see it better. There you go. One looks like that. And then they also had some princess ones and what have you. And the other one looks like this. So it's a 35 count. I just thought it was kind of cute, you know, to put snacks in and what have you. I will, I always liked the um, Bears and Bears, and I loved reading their books with my kiddos. So when I saw this, had to get it. Okay, so that's done. Um, the next thing that I saw somebody haul was um, the Big League. Now, the Big League chewing gum, this is like such an old school favorite, you guys. This is crazy. It has the best by date of June 6th of 2024 so very long 
This would be a great one to pick up and put in a stocking stuffer. But this is the Big League Chewing Gum. I used to chew this back in the day. So when I saw this, it, it definitely brought back memories. It brought a smile. And I had to get it. So I did pick up two. So the kiddos can try it out. Then um, we had a little, you know, a little boo-boo emergency here. And sit down, Bubba. Sit down. And my son, little Frank, he, he cut us underneath his toe somehow. And okay. you know, that's that real, and it, that's like a, in a really weird uh, place. And when you put your, you know, the, the, the gauze and all that stuff, you need to have tape. And I almost used up all the tape that I had. So I had to replenish my tape. So I got this waterproof foam tape. And it's by Care Us, because I definitely needed to get some more. This is one, one inch, three by three yards. Then I picked up this one that is waterproof tape, so it's not foam. This has five yards by Care, by Care Us, right? And then this one by Speed Care, it's a paper tape, so it's made for sensitive skin. So if you have sensitive skin, you know, your, your skin is a little thinner. When you get older, sometimes your skin gets thinner and you can't have those regular tapes. They'll just like, you know, cut you when they try to take it off. This would be the one that you would want. Okay. And it's by Speed Care Paper Tape. So I got those to replenish my first aid kit, honey. Mm -hmm. Then I saw these in the you know, the school supply department. Like I said, I'm not going to share all that with you. But they do have these. Um, these are this really cute note notepad things. Um, this is called Tropical Vibes. And you have the flamingos there at the bottom. And this is Aloha. And it does come with a pen. I like the fact that right here you have the little line. So it actually lets you make notes and what have you. And it is hardcover. So this one was nice. They had three different kind, and I got the lemons. Um, when life gives you lemons, make lemonade. And it has the pen. It is hardback, of course. And they had these before, I think last year. And I used mine's up. Um, so these are great to have. Super cute and very useful. Okay. Then I did pick up two t-shirts. They didn't have any t-shirts in my son's size, my older son's size. But for the twins, I picked up two of these nice polo style collared shirts by, I'm trying to pull the collar over, by Gildan, by the Gildan brand. So I got two of the black for my um, twins, but they didn't have any Frankie size. So I'm gonna keep a lookout to see if I could find one in Frankie's size and then buy him one. So I got two of those for when school starts. You know, it's always great to have that. Then in the uh, beauty department, they brought back the Barbersaw Ear and Nose Trimmer with stainless, stainless steel blades, battery operated. So I picked one up. And they had these out last year, the year before, for Father's Day, but they brought them back. So there you go. There you go. Then um, they have these really cute signs, but before I show you the signs, I did buy some of this really nice tinsel um, so I can use it to make some cool looking um, wreaths for my dollhouse miniatures. Remember to come back on, on Mondays. So I'm doing Miniature Mondays with two youths transplanted. It's a collaboration all month long on Mondays. All the videos are released on Eastern Time, 12 noon, and that's here in the state of Maryland. So make sure you come back or check out the two that have already been released. So I wanted to get some tinsel so we can have some old-fashioned style, um, cool-looking wreaths. So, and I love those colors because they're so bright and vibrant. And then I did find these signs. I found the Love Lives Here. And it's in that really, it's, this is like really heavy. And it has stuff all over it, I think. There we go. It's like a little thing there. Piece of wood. Okay. And it looks like that. And then I got the one that says home and love lives here. So I thought that these were really cute. Uh, I'll probably put one inside my bathroom on the windowsill 
and maybe one right here in my kitchen on my windowsill. So I thought that these were cute. And the fact that they're nice and heavy and wooden, they're great. And then the other two that I did find are the longer, taller ones that look like ladders. So this one says home. And I thought it was so cool looking. Now it does have that little hanger. So if you want to hang it up somewhere, you could. Um, and it has the lettering in the, in the black. And then it has that one little floral piece right there. So this is a very nice bigger piece, which I am loving for $1.25. Everything I'm sharing with you is $1.25. We don't have dollar plus yet here in my area. Everything is $1.25. Then they had love in the gray and the white. Again, with that really pretty, just simple greenery. And it does have this holder right here. And I just thought that they were so charming and they're so nice and big. I love the fact that the Dollar Tree is just giving us more for the money. So I hope you guys enjoyed this short but quick haul. And I'll see you guys again. Bye.